This is it. The time is 7.19 p.m. It is July 31st, Wednesday. We are ready. We are packed. Carmen, you're back there ready to go? Yes. My there pops is moving the car into the driveway over there. And my good buddy Mike came to send us off with some beer so we can have them when we get to Sturgis. Thank you, my man. I can't go. What are we, almost 12 hours into the trip? We've driven through the night. We are going through Utah. We're what, a, a few hundred miles, a couple hundred miles out of uh, Salt Lake City? Mm -hmm. I've now been up for 24 hours. I'm sure we all have. And uh, we're getting there. Hello. Hey. Hey, good, good morning. morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> By the way, this is a very pretty area. If you see the surrounding mountains, Super, super pretty. We're learning how to work the camera, Rudy and I, meaning Rudy. We are uh, 24 hours, almost exactly 24 hours into the drive. The only thing we've done is stopped for little snacks and gas from San Diego to here. We are in Rollins, Wyoming, right guys? Yes. We just stopped at Casper, not Casper's, Cappy's. I'm delusional. Cappy's. Cappy's. And he's driving. Yeah, well, I got plenty of energy, just my is gone. But uh, we're almost, what are we, 350 miles from Sturgis? Yeah. And it is right now Wyoming time, 840. It's going to be dark soon, and Rudy and I remember, remember that? When it gets pitch black around here through these back roads? Yeah. Whoo, you got to pay attention. So I'll be sleeping while he navigates. You hear all kinds of noises. Yeah, we are concerned about biscuits bacon right now, too, so <laughs> in the truck, I'll leave that right there. This is how packed the toy hauler is with three bikes in here. So, when we needed to stop to sleep, we didn't want to have to clear all this out, the stuff up on the bed, and the front room over there that you can see. We just didn't want to have to deal with that, so we stayed at the Ramada Plaza. And now we're ready to roll. We are about, what, 340 miles out of uh, yeah. Sturgis? 340, 350. Where are we again? Casper. Yes, Ramada. Well, I knew the Ramada. I just forgot it was Casper. Are you done? We're stopping at, what are you doing? I want to be on this side. Oh, fine. We're stopping at the, uh, What? where is this? Uh, Gillette. Gillette Harley Davidson. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. What he said. We're about 98 miles out of Sturgis. We're finally getting there. So, we literally just got off a road back there that was dirt and gravel for about a, what do you guys think, a half mile? In 1,000 feet, turn left onto First Avenue. Yes, there's Google Maps telling us to turn left in 1,000 feet to go to Walmart. It took us down the wrong road, and we were on the most backcountry road it possible. Didn't. You did. Okay, so I turned the wrong way. I turned the wrong way, but we're, we're back now. We're at Walmart. We're in Spearfish. 30 miles, 20 miles out of Sturgis. Which way do I go? Left. <laughs> so four years ago, I almost ran Rudy and I out of gas. And now, four years later, even though I'm not driving, I'm possibly running us out of gas again. At least you're consistent. The gas light is on in this truck. Jenna, how you doing? Good, finally here. Half a mile, take exit 40. From we ain't there yet. <laughs> Pops, Carmen, you guys doing okay? Doing yeah, great, yes. Fine. All right. Be happy we're finally landed. Yeah? Love the area. Be happy if we make it there and not have to push this damn thing. We gassed up and finally made it into downtown Sturgis. Now this is the beginning of the rally, but there are still thousands of bikes everywhere. We're gonna hang a right here to go a few miles down the road, and then we're gonna hang a left and head about seven miles off the main drag of downtown Sturgis to get to Drag Pipe Saloon Campground. What you see here is some of the beautiful scenery as we're driving toward it, and this here, is the Full Throttle Saloon, the new one. Since it burned out in 2015, they've rebuilt it. And we're gonna go visit this here at some point during this trip, but I will tell you, Drag Pipe Saloon Campground is right across the street from this place. It couldn't be a better location. We're here at the Drag Pipe Saloon Campground. This obviously is the Drag Pipe Saloon, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that. Okay. Can you tell us just a little bit about this place? Uh, we started in 2004, and every year we just get getting a little bigger and bigger. Started camping in about 2007. Uh, to what you see now, it's all uh, rustic cap camping or whatever. We've got shower houses, but we don't supply electricity. 
and uh, we can get your water whenever you want. You run your generator, and uh, it's like old home week here. We've got people to come back year after year after year. Things really started taking off once we got the campground. What's it cost so folks know every year here at Sturgis to camp here? Uh, we charge $100 per person for the whole rally. That uh, doesn't matter if you're in a tent or an RV. All it costs you is $100. Uh, on a normal year, we have food. Our food vendor wasn't able to make it, so. But uh, yeah, we just and it's we have a good time. And what's the website? Uh, Dragpipesaloon.com. And uh, we charge three dollars for ice cold beer. And uh, pop and water a dollar. Uh, other beers. Imagine that they don't gouge. No, that's that's what we're all about. Is not gouging. Wait, what was this, Mark? Three bucks. And by the way, finally, my buddy Mark, who rode in from La Grande, Oregon, what, a thousand miles? A thousand fifty miles. And, and I earned this beer. That's right. We're gonna, you know we're going to drink some tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, but yeah, it's, it's nothing fancy. Everybody thinks, you know, it reminds them of a bar back home, not the gravel floors that you'll see or anything, but the atmosphere. Everybody likes the atmosphere. And we have... Uh, good rapport with our customers they all like us so I don't know of any that don't like me so of course if they don't they wouldn't tell me anyway <laughs> but how could you not like this guy right <laughs> Pat thanks man we're looking forward to staying you betcha thank you for coming out and after staying at the drag pipe saloon campground for a couple of days I highly recommend it talk to Pat and Ray tell them Clint from Motorcycle Monkey sent you and you can go to dragpipesaloon.com. But I do want to catch you up real quick with my buddy Mark, who is loaded down for his 1,000-mile trip to get here. Hey, I want to see this bike I've been hearing all about. Last time in 2015, what'd you have, a uh, Triumph? Yeah, I had a Triumph. It was a trophy. And uh, yeah, that was a little too sporty for me. I need something that'll be able to work on the dirt. So you did your 1,000 miles on this. This thing is packed to the gills. I brought this one back from Chicago. I got to tell you, it's a great uh, dirt and street bike. So have you done both? Yeah, yeah, I've done both. I use this to get to the cabin all the time. Took it, um, I don't know, it's a couple thousand miles back from Chicago, and now this trip changed that seat out. I got this out of Florida, uh, Sergeant uh, Motorcycle Supply. I'll tell you what, I'm not sore at all, and I would have lost that bet because that seat's phenomenal. So when did you leave to get here on this bike, and when did you arrive? Yesterday. I left yesterday, and I arrived about an hour ago. So, well, you know, 24 hours or so. So this was about a half hour of driving on a riverbed in Montana, and look, look at these bugs. It was it was terrible. Couldn't see a thing, not through my face shield or anything. 30 minutes of driving. So the next video is going to be all about Deadwood, South Dakota, and Spearfish Canyon, a beautiful ride. Please subscribe to Motorcycle Monkey Channel, tell your friends about it, and click on the bell icon in the upper right-hand corner to get notifications of new videos when I post them. Ride safely. I'll see you on the next one.